Well, let's start off and get this right. War Eagle. War Eagle. Uh, really excited. Very, very excited to be here today. Um, and very humbled by the opportunity to uh, be the new baseball coach at uh, Auburn University and be part of the Auburn University family. And uh, it's been a, it's been a crazy week uh, since the Super Regional. To be quite honest with you, I, I wish maybe we had to prolong this one more week. And uh, I was getting back from Omaha, but I will tell you this: uh, regardless of the outcome of this year's season, it would not have made a difference. This is a place that uh, that we're excited about being, that we desire to be at, and uh, it's become home real quick. Um, my wife, Charlotte, is here with me, of course. Um, as Jay said, my daughter, Taylor, and my son, Callan, my little quick kid, and short stock. He's a heck of a player, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor just got through graduating from the University of Oklahoma. Very proud of her. She was the captain of the cheer squad there, and uh, she wants to make Auburn her home, and and come with us, and uh, we're excited about that. My oldest daughter, uh, Sonny, is home with my first grandson, Gunner, and making sure that he's uh, eating right so that he'll be one heck of a ball player someday, hopefully right here at uh, Auburn, and, uh, and her husband, uh, Jared. They could not be with us, but uh, that's our immediate family, and we're all excited about joining the, uh, the Auburn University baseball uh, family and the uh, athletics department family and the, and the university family. Um, a little bit about uh, the decision, you know, to come here and, and be a part of uh, this great institution and, and where I've been is uh, it, it's real simple. Um, I found out very early that uh, there's a commitment to win championships and that's what we're about. We've been very fortunate to do that. We've been for very fortunate to win and be a part of a lot of championships and uh, in the uh, early 90s, I had the distinct pleasure of competing against Coach Hal Berry. And uh, one was in the 94 World Series, his Auburn baseball team qualified. And we uh, were fortunate enough to win the national championship that year. Uh, I was an assistant on that Oklahoma Sooner <coughs> Baseball Club. And then in 95, uh, Auburn University had to come to Oklahoma City for a very, very tough, tough task in competing. Uh, in the regional in Oklahoma City. And I got to know, and I got to observe, and I got to watch Coach Hal Baird, and a true gentleman of the game. And I've always admired him from afar. And uh, I had some brief conversations with Coach Baird, and uh, he told me an awful lot about it, but the most important thing is about the people that live here in Auburn, the people of Alabama, and, uh, and the commitment. So uh, we were very intrigued, and with the opportunity of coming and getting to uh, to meet um, President and to meet Jay Jacobs, we were very impressed. I know that uh, the first uh, opportunity when I came in, I got to meet Joe Beckwith, former player, and uh, I really enjoyed getting to know Joe and, and his passion for the program and, and Tim Hudson and Tim's passion and desire for Auburn baseball to be a winner and a champion. And uh, when I went back, I told my wife, I said, you're really going to love these people. I promise you, I said, when you land in Auburn, you're going to find out what I already know. It's about the people there. It's about <coughs> Jay Jacobs and uh, just the, the feel that we've gotten from him. And I want to work with him is the bottom line. And so the commitment's there to win championships, and we're committed to do that. It's going to be about going out and recruiting the best student athletes that we can find and coaching up our current student athletes and excited about doing that. Um, as I've scouted it a little bit, I've heard nothing but good things. But there's some tremendous athletes on campus right now, and I know that we're in a hotbed for baseball talent, and we're going to be able to bring those uh, athletes and, and have them be student athletes here at Auburn University. So, again, just comes back to ex being excited. Um, a lot of people have asked me, too, said, hey, you know the SEC now and uh, the reputation. And I said, hey, that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, with the SEC getting nine teams in the NCAA tournament, and two of those moving on to the NCAA um, College World Series this week. And uh, I won't say we had the pleasure, we had the opportunity of going to, uh, of going to South Carolina last year for a Super Regional. And uh, we competed, but they were at home, and their fans got after it pretty good, and, and they had a pretty good baseball team after winning two back-to-back -back national championships. Uh, Ray Tanner is a very good friend of mine, and he's helped me an awful lot in my career. 
and of course now he has moved into the, the university's athletic director position and then going into LSU uh, this past year. Uh, our baseball team spent the last six weeks on the road and uh, LSU had the advantage of, of competing well at home and playing a, what I would call a tired Oklahoma baseball team after six weeks on the road. But I'm very proud of those young men that, uh, that I'm now moving on uh, from and, and had the pleasure of coaching. But uh, I did say that uh, you know, getting to compete against those programs in the conference is very exciting. We're looking forward to that challenge. And uh, so uh, bottom line, and, uh, I guess we'll open it up for questioning, but uh, I'm excited to be here. Very excited.